Welcome to this space exploration journey, where we unravel the mysteries of the most mysterious entity in space. A force that can move faster than the speed of light. An unknown form of energy that affects the universe on the largest scales. This energy comprises over 68% of all the observable universe and changes our understanding of space. A new realm of uncharted physics waiting to be understood. This is dark energy. First, let me explain what exactly is dark energy and where it comes from. Imagine the scale of the universe like a bubble. Let the bubble grow and wait until something happens. The bubble could grow to infinity, stop or reverse its expansion. Dark energy is an invisible force that's causing the bubble to grow at a pretty fast pace. We don't know what will happen next, but we know that the bubble is still growing. As a confirmation, in the late 1990s, astronomers studying distant supernovae found that the expansion of the universe was accelerating, contrary to the expectation that gravity would slow it down. The evidence was based primarily on the faintness of distant supernovas compared to their expected brightness in a universe decelerating under gravity. To detect dark energy, scientists generally look for gravitational interactions, the way gravity pulls objects around. On the largest scales, the gravitational effect of dark energy is repulsive, pulling things away from each other and making the universe's expansion to accelerate. We can also say that dark energy is getting stronger in time. If dark energy continues to drive accelerated expansion, it has profound implications for the fate of the universe. The distant future might see galaxies moving away so rapidly that they become effectively unreachable, leading to a big freeze scenario. The exact nature of dark energy remains a mystery for us, as well as the explanations. However, let us show everything we yet know about the unknown energy itself. Dark energy creates 68% of the universe we know about. 27% is a dark matter. The rest 5% is a visible matter, things and atoms we can see, unlike in the other two forms. Dark energy is often associated with the concept of the cosmological constant, a term initially introduced by Albert Einstein in his equations of general relativity. A mechanism to obtain a solution to the gravitational field equation that would lead to a static universe, effectively using dark energy to balance gravity. Einstein gave the cosmological constant a symbol and stated that the cosmological constant required that empty space takes the role of gravitating negative masses, which are distributed all over interstellar space. Einstein later discarded it calling it his greatest blunder. However, its reintroduction became crucial to explain the accelerated expansion. There is landmark evidence of the Big Bang theory for the origin of the universe connected with dark energy, a faint afterglow of the universe's birth that explained some properties of the dark energy, a cosmic microwave background the Cosmic Microwave Background, or CMB for short, is microwave radiation that fills all space in the universe. It is a remnant that provides an important source of data on the history of the universe. We are able to see this because of the light, nearly as old as the Big Bang itself. A few tests showed that dark energy does not only exist, but is actually a dominant form of energy density in the universe. The simplest explanation for dark energy is that it is an intrinsic, fundamental energy of space, usually represented by the Greek letter lambda, a previously mentioned symbol of Einstein's cosmological constant. Now, let's have a look at dark matter and everything we know about it. 
Dark matter is quite the same as dark energy, both of which are invisible. We know that dark matter takes up space and holds mass, but it doesn't reflect, absorb or radiate light, at least not enough for us to detect. Theories include several kinds of as yet unidentified types of particles that rarely interact with normal matter. Scientists today think dark matter exists in a vast, web-like structure that winds through the whole universe, a gravitational scaffold that attracts most of the cosmos' normal matter. They've determined that dark matter isn't composed of known particles of matter because the universe would look very different if it were. So we can say that dark matter is the stuff that makes it possible for galaxies to exist. When we calculated why the universe is structured the way it is, it quickly became clear that there's just not enough normal matter. The gravity of the visible matter is not strong enough to form galaxies and complex structures. The stars would more likely be scattered all over the place and not form galaxies. So we can say that there is something inside and around them that helps them stick around. We can't see it. We can't detect it or measure it, but we do see its effects very clearly. Still, the search for what makes up dark matter continues. As we have said before, humans have no clue what dark matter or energy is and how they work. We can only think about it for now. Thank you for watching and join our channel for more journeys through the universe.